Now this is an alligator uh, hole here, and we have several examples of alligator holes here on the farm. This is uh, the largest gator hole that we have on the farm. What happens is during the dry season, basically the water gets so low that it basically disappears. At that time, your alligators will take uh, their feet, the claws, uh, their head, and start moving the mud and muck back, and they'll make themselves a little hole, and that hole will fill back up in, with water, and that's what we uh, refer to as an alligator hole. Uh, as that fills back up with water, uh, basically they are now supplying water for uh, the rest of the animals that need water during uh, throughout the year. Uh, your raccoons, possums, uh, turtles, fish, uh, even frogs. So basically uh, your alligators uh, are supplying themselves food through uh, the dry season that way. And supplying water to the other wildlife at that time. Uh, it's basically called a, a symbiotic uh, relationship. Uh, this is another example of an alligator hole here. This is a small one that they're working on. There's three alligators in here now that I've seen. Uh, right now, because the water's up and I'm here, they've gone back into the den and they're hiding. Uh, two months ago, this was actually dry except for just the wet mud. And to get out of the hot sun, the alligators would actually go back into their cool den, stay out of the sun. And occasionally uh, I'd come out and you could see them where they were coming out at night and working on the gator hole, making it deeper. They basically take their claws, their feet, push the mud aside and they'll work their head down in the mud and they'll push it off to the side, trying to get down to uh, the water level where this will fill back up with water. Uh, when they have their water, it's a symbiotic uh, relationship that they'll have. When the water comes, then other wildlife wanting water during the dry season, like your raccoons, possums, birds, turtles, frogs, they'll come to this area. So now your alligators have water, and they've also brought food into them. So occasionally they'll uh, catch some of that to eat. 